Okay, in this video we're going to multiply mixed numbers. So we'll just start uh, with the first example, do this one, and then we'll do this example, and then this example, and, and so it'll be just these three examples in the video. And then of course we'll list the steps needed. Okay, so let's start with two, thir two and a third times six and three quarters. Okay, well let's see. You know, uh, that's kind of um, a bit of a messy problem really because wh what you really have actually is two in, in one third is two plus one third. If you said I this is two and a third cups of flour, that's two cups plus a third cup, right? And then you're multiplying that by, um, you know, you know, six uh, plus three quarters, basically. So it's 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 actually a messy problem as it stands right now. So um, any idea of what you could do to make the problem a little bit simpler? Press pause in the video and see if you can guess what the first step, what a nice first step would be to make this problem just a little bit simpler for us. Any idea? You could change the form of these uh, numbers here, these mixed numbers. Change the mixed numbers into into improper improper fractions, right? If we did that, it'll make things easier. So if I change this to an improper fraction, I'll go three times two is six. Six plus one is seven. That's seven thirds. Okay, and it's times and four times six is twenty-four, right? Twenty-four plus three is twenty-seven quarters, right? Now. Ooh, I think we know how to do this, don't we? Just multiplying fractions now, aren't we? And you can multiply the tops and then multiply the bottoms and then simplify the answer. Or and I think I hope we um, we reckon that it's easier to cross cancel right here right now. Three into three goes once, and what three goes into what up here? What three isn't going to seven, but does three go into twenty-seven? Yep, three to twenty-seven goes nine times. Okay. Now, does anything else cross cancel? Four doesn't go into seven or nine. There's two. Two goes into four, but two doesn't go into seven or nine, right? So nothing else crosses cancel. So you know your answer is going to be in lowest terms. So seven times nine on the top um, <coughs> gives out uh, sixty-three, and on the bottom one times four is four. And I'm actually going to write this answer as a mixed number as well just for the fun of it, just for the practice. So please in your homework also do this. Give your answer as an improper fraction, or sorry, let me say this again. If your answer turns out to be an improper fraction, please also give it as a mixed number, okay? So four into six goes once, remainder two. And then four into 23 goes five times, remainder three. So remainder is three. So that's 15 and 3 fourths, or 15 and 3 quarters. So the answer is 63 quarters, or 15 and 3 quarters, as a mixed number, okay? So here's the next example. Oh, oh so, so um, I guess we should list the steps. The first step, the most important one, was to change the uh, mixed numbers into improper fractions. And then we just multiply it as usual. You know, we do your cross cancelling, then you multiply, and then we change it back into a mixed number. But basically, what you need to remember is um, first step, change to improper fraction. Uh, to begin with. And that's the most important thing. If you change them to proper fractions, the rest is what you already know how to do. Okay, so just remember to do that. And the second step, of course, we multiply. And you might, in parentheses, of course, you might need to cross cancel. And we've had practice, so we should know to think about that. And the last step is um, we'll give your answer as a um, mixed number, if needed. I mean, it might you mightn't be able to because it might be a proper fraction. But if it's an improper fraction, give the answer as a mixed number. Okay. Okay. So let's say uh, see if you can press pause and figure this guy out. This is three times one and two fifths. Any idea how you might do this? Well, let me give you help here. Um, 
first of all, turn 3 into a fraction. How would you write 3 as a fraction? It's 3 over 1, isn't it? Multiplied by, and how would you write this guy as a fraction? Or as an improper fraction? 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 plus 2 is 7. So that's 7 fifths, isn't it? Okay, so we don't actually have to do any cross cancelling here um, because 5 doesn't go into anything up here, right? So we'll just multiply the tops. This is going to be weird. Yeah, multiply that. No, it's not. Okay, multiply that. Sorry, 3 times 7 is 21, and on the bottom, 1 times 5 is 5. And now turn that into a mixed number. By all means, press pause if you need more time. And you've got to go 5 into 21. 5 into 21 goes how many times? Four times, and the remainder would be one. So that's four and one fifth, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So let's try this one. Seven eighths times six times one and five sixths. By all means, try it yourself, and uh, you know, press pause in the video, try it yourself, and then just see if you get the same answer as me, or you can race me, try and do it faster than me if you like, whichever. Uh, so we've so uh, basically the first step is change to improper fractions. So I'm going to change each number to an improper fraction, or if needed, basically. Well, seven eighths is just a regular fraction, so it's a proper fraction. So you can't change that to an improper, or you can that that's just leave that as it is. But we do need to change the number six into a fraction. How would you write six as a fraction? Six over. 1, right? Now, write 1 and 5 sixths as a fraction, as an improper fraction. So, 6 times 1 is 6, 6 and 5 is 11. 11 over 6. Okay, does that make sense? So, now remember, look, all these fraction bars are horizontal. They're straight across, and the dots are, are in line with them. You know, some students like to write these things as, you know, 7 over 8 uh, times, you know, 6 over 1 times 11 over 6. Why is this a big mess? Like, why is it nicer to do with the fraction bar horizontal than, than sideways? Because, look, I mean, I, I, I can't figure out what's on the top or bottom here. I have no idea what's on the top or bottom. It's, it's, it's a mess. But if I do it this way, I can see clearly that there's a 6 on the top and a 6 on the bottom. So I can go cross cancel the sixes and that really simplifies everything for me right and then I just multiply the tops 7 times 1 is 7 and so 7 times 11 is 77 and then 8 times 1 times 1 is 8 and then just write that as a mixed number and you're done <laughs> So 8 times tables. What are 9 eighths? 9 eighths are 72, right? 9 times 8 is 72. So 8 and a 77 goes 9 times with remainder 77 minus 72, remainder 5, right? So 9 and 5 eighths.